long direction terms for linear computing. It's also called uh, the inverse term. That's because it's in terms of cutoff when you regularize the theory. And uh, instead of working with the professor too, and we find some inverse law in the long direction terms for linear computing. And finally, I will uh, work with you for five rows. Uh, for the general high-priority variety. Uh, 
It's co only given the the graph result for the uh, for uh, for quarter square variety, but uh, in demo it will run without. For example, it gives a non-zero entropy for the total derivative term the interaction. As we know, the total derivative term the interaction is trivial, so the entropy must vanish. Okay, using the hard bar formula, uh, we can uh, we can get uh, we can get it for group. Uh, 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 so this group of our team. Uh, 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 and this is the subsystem A on the boundary. And uh, according to our formula, and the, uh, the entanglement here over A, given by the air with the minimum surface is above. Uh, uh, so let's see. Uh, the A, subsystem A, and the subsystem B have the same uh, minimum surface is above. So, have, so they have the same entanglement entropy. And, and similarly for main entropy, uh, A and B have the same cosmic covariance in the bar. The same cosmic covariance uh, will have the same back direction on the geometry. So, uh, uh, so they have the same uh, main entropy. Uh, let's turn to the, the front of the activity. Let's first talk about entanglement entropy. And the, the left hand side is given that by the red line, and the right hand side is given by the blue line. Let's first talk about this region. Uh, the blue line is the minimum surface. So the length of this blue line is smaller than the length of this red line plus this red line. Uh, similarly, this blue line is the minimum surface. So the length of this blue line is smaller than this line plus this line. So as a result, we have strong support activity for entanglement entropy. However, this is another case for ring entropy. So because the blue line and the red, and the red line have the same back, uh, uh, no, no, uh, this, uh, blue line and the red line, uh, uh, will have different back direction on the geometry. So actually, they will, they will be in different space. So as a result, the, uh, the strength of the activity is varied by, um, by the energy. Mm, okay, let's turn to the reward terms for entanglement energy and the main energy. In general, they take the following form. The first term is the famous air law, and the third is the cutoff of the theory. And the second term is the, the log diverted term. It only appears in even in even dimension. And this term is also called the inverse term. Um, for two dimensional CRP, uh, they are given by these two formula. Here L is the length of the, the length of the subterm, and C is the zero charge um, for the CRP. There that is cut off. Um, and for four dimensional CRP, and they are given by these two formula. Here A and C and two single charge for four dimensional CRP. C is the where tensor fits the, the, the intrinsic culture, and R is the, 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 the intrinsic basis roller. And uh, for regional P, the universal terms, uh, A and C are replaced by three functions uh, um, by FA, FB, and FC. And in the limit of N to 1, FA becomes A, and FB and FC be uh, um, equal C. Now we want to turn to our main results. Um, FA is, is, is uh, abundant by the, FA can be derived from the, the thermal free energy or self on a bodies. And FC is related to FA through this formula. And by study free CFP, it seems that we have FB equals FC. However, by studying the CFP due to Einstein gravity, don't present actually they are different. Our more motivation is to find some new universal law in the functions of F A, L B, and C. And we call it the, the universality in the shape dependence of three and C. This is our main result. Um, by study CFP, due to general high derivative gravity, we find the leading and subleading terms of F N in parts of N minus one are related to the parameters of two point and three point functions of square tensor. So this is our main result. A and C and zero charge of four dimensional CRP, and C, T2, T4 are the parameters of three point function of stress tensor. Um, the dot 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 means the higher order terms in MS1. They are related to, um, to the four and higher point functions of stress tensor, and so they are not immortal anymore. Only the two point function and three point function of stress tensor are immortal for CRP. And this is the result for CRP due to gravity. And interestingly, we find our holographic results also apply to weakly coupled CFP, such as the series of Fermion and Victor. 
but are well linked by the theory of free scheduler. After this mismatch of FA, this scheduler has been done before, which is due to the boundary confusion to the model component of the stress tensor. And we find there is a combination of our holographic formula, which is specified by all the theory data holographic duo and all free safety, including scheduler. So this formula is specified, <coughs> this formula is specified by all the CLT. And uh, this formula is only specified by holographic CLT, I mean the CLT due to gravity, and the uh, Brefimia predictor. And this is our main conjecture for our work. Sorry, so this formula agrees with, with, with the previous result or does not agree? I just don't understand. Yes, this formula, yeah. Venki, agrees with the previous with the formula on the previous slide or does not agree? Uh, they agree? The formula, this formula, yeah. Yeah. they do agree? Yeah, correct. So, correct. And so can you comment there was some problem with color field, uh, free, free oh, color oh, field okay, calculation? Okay. I, I have a question. Uh, there are three relations, or holographic relations. And uh, we did get a, uh, uh, they, are, they are not satisfied by the free scheduler, but uh, some special combination of their of their are satisfied by free scheduler. Uh, sorry, uh, this holographic formula are not are not satisfied, are validated by the free scheduler. Okay. But uh, some special combination of their uh, in the FB plus FC are satisfied by a free So this formula is indeed satisfied by a free So we can get the formula in the universal for general safety. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I'll show how to derive this result. Uh, this is study the safety due to the general high gravity. Uh, as we know, there are uh, many terms in high derivative gravity. So if we study their take by case, it's impossible to find some universal law. So if we look at trick, uh, we extend the action on the uh, function closure <coughs> and find only the first of few terms are related to our problem. This is uh, the, the function closure. And we extend the action around the function closure and back at this formula. And we find the act, uh, actually only four terms in the action are related to the log tangent terms. Or so this is the matrix. And uh, by, uh, 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 by carefully putting this uh, constant F0, uh, we, we find the uh, ADS is always the solution to the general high derivative gravity if we carefully choose the constant, this constant, this parameter. And uh, to the leading order, to the order of uh, uh, minus one, Solutions to Einstein gravity are always solutions to the general high derivative gravity. And for our purpose, for our problem, we need the solutions of the second order. This is the matrix. And let's turn to the, the combination of FA. Uh, FA can be derived from the vicinity on a CPR entangled surface, which is due to the uh, hyperbolic black hole itself. Uh, we can derive the vicinity by using this formula. Here, I start with the word and the for hyperbolic black hole. And we can then have derive uh, Sn from this formula and the result for Fa from the log divergent term. The key idea is the CLT inside the block is due to a hyperbolic black hole itself. This is the metric for hyperbolic black hole. The key point is to find solutions of hyperbolic black hole in general high derivative gravity. As we know, in general, it's very difficult to find the, the solutions uh, for black hole in general high derivative gravity. So we only open the uh, only open the uh, in, uh, in, uh, in for uh, in for video work with very small coupling. So these are the solution. The solution I go back this way. Uh, increasingly it's so only depend on three parameters uh, in the action. And using the solution we can derive the region here and then it of RK. And then we can have this so we have derived the uh, FA from the hyperbolic black hole in the past. And uh, similarly, we can derive FC and uh, FP and FC from the unity on a deformed CPR, which is due to a deformed hyperbolic black hole in the past. Um, the change in position function is given by the, the, the one-point function of stress tensor. 
and here if I get to the brain of breast cancer for the deformed high body black hole. And from the change of body function, we can derive the change in mean energy. And then, and then we got Fb and Fc from the log divergent curve. Uh, so totally, uh, totally we have a solution for deformed high body black hole in part. Here K and Q. Uh, uh,
and uh, compare the Bragg's blood cancer with the, the Selby's blood cancer, uh, they develop it in the CD into this formula. Uh, it's interesting to explain the CD is a very simple universal form for CLP due to the general high <coughs> gravity in general dimension. Here and E is the the is the is the mass for the hyperbolic black hole. And then then it describes the shape deformation in the uh 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 in the in the in the in the in the in the in and actually, uh, these formulas are, are found by Peter Myers and some other people for Einstein gravity and Gauss-Bleit gravity. Here we find the uh, uh, state of the most general high gravity gravity. And it takes a very simple and, uh, form. And from this formula, we find the leading and the stopping, uh, we find the leading and the stopping terms for each kind of state here are determined by the two-point and the three-point functions for spread cancer. And we call that the CT, uh, T2 and the T4. Are, uh, are parameters over three-point function. And uh, I mean, for down this term, uh, when d equal to six terms and term of one unit, this is the this is the 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 and this can be got a, a type for our holobatic formula. And similar to the four dimensional CLP, we find our holobatic formula are simplified by free fibia and uh, and uh, free vector. Uh, in general dimension, it's specific by the conformal tensor. But are validated by scalar. For free CLP, this means that the, the, the free CLP have, have this beautiful formula. But we find this formula for free CLP are validated uh, by uh, uh, by uh, uh, by our holographic formula, using our holographic formula and the two DRQ for this equation, uh, how is it positive? Uh, so for free vector field, do we mean gauge gauge field? Uh, yeah, can be can be can be we first give me after vector and uh, and uh, first field. Free vector, you mean gauge field? Yeah, gauge field. Yeah. But uh, for the 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 for building. So how do you calculate for free uh, for Maxwell field this result? Uh, you mean this for Maxwell field, yes. How do you calculate? Uh, okay, uh, so. From the positive or energy, we have we have uh, look at the spin uh, for, for the parameters of three point functions for spread tensor, and using the scalar constraint, and uh, then using our our algebraic formula, I mean using using use this formula, we can prove this is term so how is positive. No, I am asking how do you calculate uh, CD for CD for yeah. uh, for, uh, for field Maxwell field. Yeah, for field theory. Uh, you just compute the partition function because four dimension three mass is a couple of field theory. Fine. So how do you calculate? You do oh, some big kernel expansion. Main point is that, that you should put a counter return. It's just a boundary return. Uh, uh, you can see uh, Donald, uh, Donald is better. Donald. Who? Donald. Donald. He's the first guy to show you know, the return. No, no, I'm asking, so there is a CD, CD coefficient, CD. And uh, we, we, we don't know how to do the CD. We only know CD equals HN for free scalar. Yeah, because you say that for free field, CD equals this expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm asking if you calculated it for uh, Maxwell field and you got the expression on the right-hand side in the formula 56. Uh, you mean this? Yeah, I mean, you say that for free CFTs, so let's take Maxwell field in four dimensions. Yeah. It's free and it is conformal, right? Yeah. So I'm asking if it is true that CD equals what you have on the right hand side of 56, you will substitute D equals four. Uh, for Maxwell field. For U1 gauge field in four dimensions. But, uh, uh, this is the 
So it's only for prescaler. The calculation is only for prescaler. Yeah. That's what you say. But in general, this is from the this is that this is that this is that this is this is that this is this is that conjecture. The only no no for for prescaler and for fimia in in three dimensions. For prescaler in four dimensions. But in general, uh, 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 we uh, we don't know the answer. So if we, we assume this this formula is satisfied for for the general phase of this, and we find that they 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 disagree with our holographic results. Yeah. So this is not true. This is what you say. Fifty six is not true. Sorry? You say that fifty six is not true because it doesn't agree with holography, right? Yeah. No, fifty six is in for free. But it's even for free CFTs, I can understand that it was not calculated, right? I, I know that for free scalar maybe it was calculated, but for free uh, multiple field in four dimensions, I don't think it was calculated. Uh, but I think a free cage can be computed by free scale. Okay, I don't know. Well, with free scalar, there are lots of problems with this sort of calculation. Because uh, even uh, uh, even uh, uh, you I mentioned that uh, for free scalar there is uh, all yeah. kind of disagreements. If you do calculation for free scalar, you will always yeah. get some discrepancy in comparison to holographic calculation. I don't know if you see, but uh, if you compute the universal turn of a free H sphere, you you could uh, use scale free scale even time even sphere. Yeah, but even for sphere, for free scalar, there are some uh, problems with this calculation. For free scalar. You have a free scalar for? Yes. Oh, for CP? Yes. Okay.
But even for free scanner, you mentioned that uh, if you choose different tensors, you get different answers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then even for C, D, uh, for H, uh, yeah, exactly. you mentioned. Uh, but that, but this, the same then will hold for C, D, right? If you choose different tensors, you will get different get different answers yeah, yeah, that's for that's C, that's D. That's right, that's right. So therefore, to what extent this formula 56 was checked actually? Uh, that follows this formula for other people or, or minor. Yeah, but in, in uh, but in our paper we just put it without calculation. Okay. This paper that you mentioned, this is what we wrote. We just put it without calculation. That's why I asked why it's it, okay. is, it is satisfied for free fields. To do this holographic calculations, do you need to expand curvatures to order n minus one square? Yeah, yeah. The holographic calculation we need to the order n minus square. Yeah, and uh, so in the past there were claims that it is ambiguous how to interpret such terms. That it somehow the linear term in n minus one is not ambiguous and uh, quadratic terms are ambiguous. So can you comment about it? Uh, yeah, but, but you introduce conical deficit and you calculate curvatures to order n minus one square, right? Yeah. So uh, in the past there were claims that uh, these terms are ambiguous. They depend on the way you regularize your uh, conical singularity. So ha, ha, so why they are not ambiguous? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, okay, the the
Uh, and what kind of minimal surface you take? Uh, actually, it's, uh, there are two methods for calculating the, the linear energy. The first is you know, using uh, uh, formula, uh, such as the formula, uh, uh, like this, it's the air of the, the, the cosmic ring. Mm. This is the first method. And the second method uh, is the method for, for, for measures uh, and other people. This is generalization of the, this is sort of open of the Tina cloud, where they, where they studied uh, flux of energy at infinity, they do some perturbation mm -hmm. of the state, vacuum state, and then study flux of energy at asymptotic infinity, and then pulse positivity of energy flux. But so this I, I, I need to see some parameters associated with the It's just, right, it's just for a CT uh, related to the three-point function constraint that at the end of the day. You just see in no black holes, nothing. See in flat holes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any more questions? Okay. 